Tony plays <laughs> with friends. Oh, but Chartman is weird because he's like, ah, yes, I'm a very religious man. Here's my my ghost thing where there's a ghost realm. I always, I like, I know he's kind of weird, but I always feel bad for him that he keeps making an ass of himself because he's just like some old dude now. Yeah, and he just he keeps saying silly old man shit. And That's kind of what happens, right? You yeah. become an old dude, and then you start constantly making an ass of yourself because I, I really the times think so. change without you. Yeah, no, the times just change, and then you're just saying stupid shit. Did you see that thing he said when uh, Tara Strong went on his podcast? Oof, yeah, that's actually say? uncomfortable. You know, he said something like, uh, like some voice actress killed themselves, and then Tara Strong got the job she would have had, and he kind of implied that. <laughs> like Tara made her do it or something. It really? Like, it was like really yeah, I don't know if she killed herself or just died, but uh, yeah, he he definitely said something he like said something really along weird. The lines like you caused that, didn't you? And Tara Strong's just like, uh, yeah, it's fucking <laughs> like she becomes noticeably yeah. uncomfortable and doesn't know how to respond. This guy's this guy's still what going. Is going on? <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> like this thing. It I lost it. Yeah, it's out there. And then this he guy's keeps like, doing this. Yeah, I think he's crazy. Well, he's got half of a head. So he's swinging at invisible it. stuff. Oh, you're right. He does have half a head. Yeah. Uh, let's figure out how to fuck this thing up because it's really running me up a wall, Chris. I dare you to kill that thing right now. Fuck you. Uh, oh, what? No, no, no. Watch out, the loyal. Just keep this combo going. Yeah, as long as I keep <laughs> grappling to it, I can. What about kinda... when it dies? Yeah, well, we'll get to that when oh, we get to it. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, like, you uh, fucking kidding me? Back? Why did it come back? Or, or maybe it just that spawn was another yeah. wave. Yeah, that, that's also likely. It, can I only hit this with. Oh, no, I can hit it with regular shit. I don't know why I thought it was a blue creature. Oh, don't fall again. Oh my oh, god! Yeah! Now okay. I don't know how to fu- Okay, there we go. Get to smash through walls, get to eat a green special thing. Uh, your green bean? Get yeah. to realize you're just in a hidden area and yeah. walk back. <laughs> no! Okay. There we go. Wow! Uh, That's he an upside reacted down train. first. He reacted to that before it happened. That's called good reaction time, Chris. I guess that is true. Oh, I thought that- Ah! Oh, this kind of looks like Final Fantasy What VII. did it say? Something closer? Come closer. Oh, come closer. Come closer. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh! <laughs> That's scary. He missed you. It's got a face on it. It sure does. Oh, God! <laughs> it kind of reminded me of the car from Roger Rabbit. I hate that thing. That's really fucking scary. <laughs> The car from Roger. <laughs> it looks yeah. nothing like that. Well, it's like that if it was an evil train. <laughs> Tomar, have you ever been punched in front of a train? <laughs> what was that uh, line of question? Well, no, I have not. Okay. <laughs> I'm grateful that I don't know anyone who would push me in front of a train, I guess. There's been some guy in London doing it. I, I've seen the, uh, the photos. It's fucking scary. He just pushes people in front of trains? You sure that's not just like a hoax? No, it was real. He went to jail. Oh, okay. I well, think he got 10 years. they caught him. The great train pusher of London only got 10 years? Yeah. Well, I don't on, know if he actually train. killed hit him with anybody. The train. Come on, stay up there. Come on, train. Ah. Oh. He didn't actually kill anyone, right? Um, I, he, he attempted to, but the train didn't hit them. I was gonna say, if he had actually killed someone, I would think 10 years was lenient. The first person fell onto the track and, like, got hurt, but they didn't die. And then the second guy had really good footing somehow. And he just, like, he got pushed from behind and still didn't budge. So that guy's kind of badass. Did he do a flip? He did a backflip over the train and landed on it like an Avenger, and then he smashed his <laughs> face into the wall. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad he died. But, uh, yeah, Tomar. Your days are numbered, buddy. The train pushers after me? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I've let him know where you live? Your schedule? How do you know this guy? You're gonna come home and and you're gonna like look at the the doormat and you're gonna be like train tracks. I can't Maybe Jaxie left them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you've done this. I, I can't believe you've done this. Watch out! There's, there's a boring, a boring thing. <laughs> a boring thing. I'm glad it at least bleeds. It's at she's least wanted. <laughs> she's wanted for being upside down. How to make a boring thing interesting? Make it bleed. <laughs> there it is again. I, I like that it bleeds. I like that anything bleeds. 
Yeah. I'm glad God coded that into the universe. <laughs> it's a really believable effect. Do you remember Sister Sister? Sister. I don't remember sister. anything about it. I just remember I its existence. I remember it was part of like TGIF lineup, but I never Aww. really liked anything in the TGIF lineup. Do you remember what they used to say to the guy? Oh, that was it. Just, Go home, Roger. I watched Sabrina it. the Teenage Witch once or twice. I, I, I didn't watch a lot. I pretty much only watched cartoons when I was the age where that was out. Have you seen the episode where Prince, where Aunt Hilda turns Sabrina into a fuda and sends her to the school? Into a what? She gives a, her a dick. A dick lady. Yeah. Is she actually a fooder, or she just turns her into a man, and you just added that extra... No, she turns her into a fooder. So she keeps her looking like a woman, but just adds a dick to her. Yeah, she says, Hooda, Hooda, you're a fooder. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite episode, dude. And then Harvey's like, Whoa, you're pretty cool now, babe. She's <laughs> like, I understand what it is like to ejaculate from the other side. And then Lydia, like... Organizes it so that when Sabrina goes into the bathroom, all the girls hold her down and snip it off with hedge clippers. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, she she gets too full of herself and she's like, I don't want to give up my dick ever. <laughs> and they're like, You've changed, Sabrina. And ever she's since like, no, you got I, that dick, I refuse to undo the dick spell. You can't make me. And then yeah, they do that, and then everything's back to the status quo. And then Penn <laughs> from Penn and Teller come in, and he says, It's a really dark I ending. Fuck. <laughs> What happened to Fuda? <laughs> so it just ends with her like bleeding on the like girls' <laughs> bleeding restroom out floor. Bleeding on the floor with the camera panning up like at the end of Breaking Bad. <laughs> and they just cue to some like dramatic music. <laughs> and all the police come running in looking around. That's a pretty good ending. I would watch it. The official ending to Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> and it goes, Wee! 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 Oh, Lyle. Remember that time uh, you, s you sent me that clip and you're like, do you have perfect pitch? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, no, but, oh, I, I did that in the episode where, uh, in the Chupacabra where I was like da, 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 And then Lyle literally didn't have to change anything. I didn't have to change the timing or the pitch of that clip. It just matched up like perfectly. I want you to see if uh, my, my tone, if my pitch is right for that Sabrina theme. And if it's not, then, uh, I don't know, punish me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Punish me. Punish me, daddy. Fuck! Yeah, I think there was something with that- the glass window that I could fucking, uh, do. Break that glass ceiling, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard out here as a big piece of shit. I can't hold down a job and I feel like I can't progress through the workplace. Mm. <laughs> We're the real oppressed class. Assholes. <laughs> oh, baby Lyle, kill those fucks. I was hoping I could like just bop him into the ah you you dickass get out of here you, you dickass no okay <laughs> <laughs> fuck you it just clipped you right off the there edge. we go I was trying to throw him in there for so long and it finally happened environmental Tomar what's your biggest pet peeve I I think I've said it's definitely charlatans <laughs> oh yeah it's people that take advantage of of other of the ignorance of others for their own personal benefit. Okay, Lyle, what's your biggest pet peeve? I hate when people leave the toilet seat down. Now that's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood that eat both ways. What, the toilet? Yeah, if I walk into a like, bathroom- Like, why doesn't every person just operate the toilet to their specification yeah, like, why don't you instead just of sitting in? down without thinking? Why don't you just adjust it and just fucking do it? I don't understand I it. feel like that's what I as a man do every day, but... But, uh... There's a double standard there. I- I'm gonna say it. <laughs> About the toilet it. seat and the leaving... We need to segregate gender toilets. That's what I'm saying. We you do like, that. In public. Like we have been. No, I mean in our own homes. Yeah, no, we should start doing it in, in public. <laughs> I think every bathroom should have a urinal and a toilet. And then you would not never have to put the toilet seat up. Yeah, bitch. I want a urinal shaped like my own head so I can piss into my own mouth. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if if you had a friend that like had a bunch of money and you went can over we to your house? Can we just call it the house? Oni Hall? Watch out! Ah! 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 Oh god. <laughs> nice. The Oni Hall. Wait, what were you what were you gonna say besides that? That was it. Uh oh. I just wanted to call it the Oni Hall. I want a tiny, tiny, tiny little like urethra-sized hole I have to piss into. Oh, that, that that turns it into like a- It would be cool to have a toilet that had like- I feel like they did something like this in public Japanese toilets at yeah. some point, because I've heard about it. 
Just the idea of there being like an interactive screen built into the toilet so you had a game you could play with That's your PS4. For, cool. for like precision. Yeah. You could get like different games for it. Like you could get the R. Kelly where there's like a sleeping 17 year old no. girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tomar, a lot of Irish pubs will put a cork in the toilet so guys aim at it. To stop yeah, them from pissing all over the floor. Yeah, that's been a thing. Like, yeah. like they do the little uh, sticker with a fly. I think that's the most common one in the I'm states. I'm like working on this, but I, I'm I don't feel if like if you put a cork in a anymore. toilet, men cannot not aim at it. It's like they have to do it. There's something primal. No, yeah. if there's anything in a toilet that stands out, you're gonna pee on it. Just part of being male. It's, I was, yeah, I was gonna say earlier, Chris. Uh, what would you do if you went to someone's house and they had that exact toilet you were describing, but it was still like your face? <laughs> I'd be mad. Like, would like, you? You'd be, be mad like, if if you came to my house and I had a Chris O'Neill urinal. Yeah, I'd be like, you really commissioned some company like a thousand dollars just so you could piss on me? Fuck you. <laughs> I would have taken the money and just let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, don't go into my upstairs bathroom. I'd just be like, think of all the starving little African babies you could have fed with that money, but instead you wanted to piss into my mouth. <laughs> you fucking waster. Dante. Well, you weren't gonna let me do it for real. <laughs> you didn't ask! <laughs> you mean it? I mean it. I really mean it. <laughs> My toe freaking hurts. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris got his, his toe cut off because of the diabetes. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, that's my greatest fear, honestly, is getting diabetes. Of the beaties? Yeah, yeah, my grandpa had diabetes and he was missing three toes. Fuck. All on the same foot. It sucks. If you drink too much Diet Coke, you might get it. I forget. I don't know if that's true. No, I'm just kidding. That'll give you, uh, kidney stones. But, uh, Tomar told me that I can get my ingrown toenail taken out, and I did that today. I didn't tell you, the fucking doctor, Tomer. You yeah. didn't fucking tell me! What's the story? That, uh, okay, so I go in, and in Ireland, I would have my ingrown toenail taken out every year at Christmas, because it was just something easy I could have done while I'm home. And, uh, so I go into this place, I go into the doctor's room, and he's, and he's this Armenian guy, and he's like, Hey, how's it going? I'm like, good, haha, <laughs> and he starts laughing at me, just for no reason, and I'm just like, <laughs> Okay, and he's like, being really nice, though. And then he's just like talking to me, and then instantly, I'm not even kidding, he takes a syringe out from behind him and sticks it in my foot without me even fucking knowing it. I go, ah! And he goes, oh, what? You forgot your balls today or something? And I'm like, ah! <laughs> and he's like sticking me with a syringe into my toe. I didn't know about that. Yeah. You yeah. didn't tell me that story. Right. Dude, he didn't even say what was going to happen. He just said like, oh, yes, your ingrown toenail. Don't worry, we can, we can fix it permanently. And I'm like, cool. So he sticks me with a syringe without a fucking word. And he's like, what? You don't have syringe sticking you? And I'm like, no, rarely. And he's just like, uh, he's, he's just calling me a pussy and shit. Then he does it again. And I'm like, ah! And he's just like, Jesus, you've got no tolerance for pain, do you? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna walk out while this gets numb. And then he comes back in. And he's just like, does this hurt? And he grabs my toe and I'm like, ah! Yes! He's like, he's still like making fun of me for having no tolerance. And then he walks out. Then he comes back in again like five minutes later. And then... He's like, okay, now tell me if this hurts. And he's like, he's doing the procedure now with this like little stick. He sticks it up my toe, and I'm like, ah, yeah, that hurts. And he's just like, no, that's just pressure. And I'm like, no, that's pain, that's pain. And he's like, oh, I guess it's not numb. So then he stuck me with a syringe two more times, and my toe was fucking covered in blood. I guess you're resistant to anesthetic. Yeah, I guess so, but my, my, my toe was completely white, and my whole foot around it was pink. You're completely white. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that hurt, and now it hurts. But, uh, yeah. I didn't have- I went to the exact same guy, and I don't remember anything like that I'm not, I'm not kidding, he's the coolest guy ever, he's super funny, but that that was- that- I- I, I hate syringes. I mean, I think his strategy was to try to distract you so that you, like, <laughs> wouldn't anticipate the syringe. Yeah. But it sounds like it backfired because you're resistant oh, to I anesthetic. forgot to even say the worst part was, um... One of the times he stuck it in my foot, this was after I had been stuck, so my, my toe was supposed to be completely numb, and he was amazed that I was still feeling anything, but he stuck it in, and I went, ah! And he was like, oh, I hit a nerve, sorry about that. <laughs> it was so painful. Oh, man. Oh, this witch is pretty witchy. Yeah. I'm not a... Yeah, you know what? I like her. Can you, uh, pause right when she spreads her legs? I'm gonna look at your crystal. Mm. Is this what happens when someone eyes up an emerald, Tomar? 
You get insecure and <laughs> look at it. I don't know what you're talking about. No one's ever eyed up one of my emeralds. <laughs> no one's ever found one? No! Yeah, this no, is, they still haven't been found. If they found them, you'd see my power begin to quickly dissipate. <laughs> like Voldemort's Horcruxes. Yeah, you'd... <laughs> cool. You'd notice, notice visible changes in my body and my Your anatomy. Your turns fucking hue yellow. <laughs> Your teeth turn crimson red. That'll be a sad fucking day when you melt away to ash, Tomar. I might actually cry, I'm not gonna Well, lie. that's why I hit him so well. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Aren't you ready to see some more flashbacks of little baby Dante? I freaking love vortexes. Me too. That's cool. Is that Mundus? I, we gotta let him go. That looks really cool. Wait, is that Sparta? Yeah. That's Sparta? No, I don't is, know. Is, is that his prison? No, you saw it. it was, Sparta was like a guy. He was yeah. just a regular dude. So Sub dude. Is he locked a regular inside jack -off? That? Is that an actual creature? Is that like a prison shaped like a man? It's right. a- I mean, I don't think it's a physical thing. I, well, it, it is a physical- it's not alive, I don't uh. think. I'm sure- I mean, I'm sure it'll move and look at you at some point, but I don't think it's like meant to be like an actual guy. It might be. I don't know. It's I honestly so don't big. remember. I like it. Let's climb the chain up to him and say hello. Yeah. Ooh. We're like breaking the chains. Ow! Oh, we're breaking the chains. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna Why? float into space. I think this is this this is like Dante's mindscape. So he's unchaining uh he's unchaining that within himself. I'm not lying, I'm not gonna lie, that chain's a piece of shit. It kind of is, I fucking hate it. Oh well, look, it's moving. Yeah. Like you said it might. Yeah. I don't know if it's like sentient. It's like a big Cthulhu thing. Yeah. Watch as my textures magic. His J.O. crystal just went <laughs> off. What is a J.O. crystal? A J.O. Like, crystal? Like, I get what you mean by J.O., but... It glows I when you and your- when you jerk it with a bro. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically when you jerk it with a bro. That's cool. Yeah. Only- only me and my bros know. <laughs> kinda- your father. Kinda ruining the sentimental moment, aren't we? <laughs> Dante, Dante. Your, great, your J.O. crystal is great and powerful. It, in it was inherited from your grandfather and his grandfather before him. They all J.O.'d with their bros. <laughs> Just try to imagine that. Try to imagine your grandfather's wrinkly hands wrapped around his tubescent mass of cock. <laughs> I'm your mother, by the way. I think about it, too. <gasps> okay, yeah, so I just got the devil trigger. <gasps> That's kind of cool. Yeah. I challenge you to use it on these falls. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, Dante's Devil Trigger or Supersonic? I think it would be Supersonic. Honestly, Supersonic. Supersonic's essentially just Super Saiyan. Look at him go. Ah, uh, I'm black and white and my mohawk's white! <laughs> now you are screwed! You better run! <laughs> it's Genesis Valentine. Yeah. You better run! You better run! Now! Yeah, so, uh, whenever you power up, they all start to float. It's That's funny. cool. That's actually kinda cool. It's definitely, They just uh, become your combo fodder. Basically, yeah. It's kind of, uh... I don't know. It's different. Uh... Hmm. I don't know if I prefer it or not. I don't I, think people would have a big problem with this game if it wasn't called Devil May Cry. I yeah. honestly don't think that. I prefer the older way though, because it, it doesn't like change the game, it just gives you an advantage. Yeah. Oh, that, you were talking specifically about Devil Trigger? Yeah. Oh yeah, the old De Devil Trigger was actually kind of cool. Um, and he looks way cooler. Home. Yeah, yeah. This is your home? This is your home? This now is it just puts home? like an effect on I Actually, it. I agree with you though. I, I think this game as a game is kind of cool. Yeah, there's things to like about it. It's just like the, he's so stupid. Yeah, the characters the characters <laughs> dumb as fuck. But there there are tons of action game heroes. Wait, that are when dumb did as this guy have nobody... that ability? Uh, we were talking about toe stuff over it, but yeah, like oh, okay. we're basically anytime he looks we're talking at about toast. yeah, anytime he looks at stuff from a different perspective, it like moves. Gotcha. Oh, you're a hacker. This is a helm breaker. Game. He really turns into Genesis. That's insane. Yeah. This is not even my, my final true form. Power. This is only 10% <laughs> of. Is, is that your ding dong? 
I haven't even seen my final form. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was supposed to be my Genesis. I honestly can't remember what his voice sounds he like. He sounds more like this. <laughs> you, you know what was guy, really man. fucked up, actually? Um, when we recorded those Genesis videos, um, a few months after those, me and Ding Dong went back in Second Life and found him again. And the second time we found him, nothing very interesting happened, so we never uploaded the footage, but his voice had completely changed. Wait, what? Yeah, he went from saying like, I will defeat you now! He was, and he was more like, yeah, okay. And he was like, really like, low now. So, like, Genesis, like, underwent a transformation? Maybe an increase in power, even? In the or time do you think you, like, he started him? using a filter because someone <laughs> pointed out, like, he... Maybe him hearing himself in your video did made he know him that, realize how high his voice did he was, know that that and it video made himself conscious. He, he has to. Um, I don't know. Uh, I honestly, I think his voice might have broken or something. Broken through? Maybe he was sick. Maybe. It's possible. He was sick and tired of the haters. Oh god, why did I let that Ooh. just happen to me? Alright, I want to get rid of these little guys first. Okay. Oh, another back. one. Fucking yeah! shit, which was the one I was wailing on? Was it that one? Well, now I can't remember. You got him out of camera. Yeah. Yeah, Lyle. I'm sorry, Tomar, and only Tomar. <laughs> you know what's cool about these... these fighting games and <laughs> such... These hack and slash games. I slid up or put the rooney. A lot of the times when the camera's facing away from an enemy, they won't attack you. Which is kind of fair. Yeah. They will run into the screen to attack you. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that that is like a little detail that is probably present in every single one of these, but you yeah. just kind of don't notice. Yeah, I'd rather have that over like a realism where they just get you in the back. I I don't think in a single first-person shooter, getting shot from somewhere where you can't see has ever felt fun. Yeah, no. I think I think that's the most frustrating thing ever is like when you're playing a game like PUBG or something, and you're just getting shot, and you just cannot see where. You're just like this sucks. What if it's an eye up in a tower, like in Bloodborne? That'd be cool. <laughs> I still love PUBG though. I just hate that one feeling. Yeah, I, I tend to like uh, shooter games where your character has a little bit more health, just for that reason. Yeah, Because it always true. feels super shitty when you get, like, clipped in the toe from a million miles away and then you're just dead. Fallen, Fallen Harpy. Harpy. Uh, okay. Oh, man. So I can, like, shoot him down? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, that's sad. You shouldn't kill that Can I, creature. like, knock him off the, uh... The thing? Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> but can't they fly? No, because I shot their wings off. Oh, oh, I oh see. that's awesome. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. This game has has a lot of a lot of little things like that. Like it has those like the train that you can punch people into and fuck you, oh, man. man. You're gonna die. Yeah, I probably will. Oh that's... no! Be careful, baby boy. Don't worry. Why did he go over the fucking God damn it. These guys do not want there, to fall you got, down there. Oh no, that didn't have any health. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh yeah, that <laughs> vibrating- that vibrating is just Lyle mashing the button. <laughs> so tired of your shit! Ah! Oh man, my tummy's full of rumblies. Oh yeah? Are you a hungry little sausage? No, I think I've got diarrhea. <laughs> oh yeah? Oh no. Yeah. Diarrhea! Diarrhea! What a time to be alive! Oh god. Oh, <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> oh. Bitch! You're doing pretty well on this sliver of health. health. Yeah, if I hadn't, like, completely, like... Oh, that gives you your oh, health Oh, yeah, back. you get all your health back. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, you, you slowly regenerate. I forgot about that. A savage! Yeah, I think I get another blue thing soon that's, like, these little, little like, ring dealios, and I remember those being cool. Hey, idiot. Don't there she do is. Madame Blue Balls. Madame Blue. Oh, she gave it her shield. Bad move, you idiot. Oh, fuck. No, don't do that. All right. I think there's a lock on that I just haven't been using, by the way. Oh, you don't say. Has anyone in the comments been like, why doesn't Lyle ever lock on? I don't know. I haven't been reading them, but maybe. I don't know. The, I, people aren't super passionate about the way that this game is played, I wouldn't imagine. 
They only get passionate when you when, when you I, give it any praise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they only get passionate when I compare it to Devil May Cry 4, the game with the worst pacing on the planet. <laughs> You just earned yourself another set of comments I right know. there. I, I gotta, I gotta make sure to get one in at least once per recording session, just to make sure that people stay consistently angry with me. You're kind of a, a mean bastard. In I that know. Way. I like it. <laughs> That's why he's the wrath man. I'm gonna fucking pull myself to the bluest place on the planet, the ocean. <laughs> I didn't. I, I was surprised you had an answer. I was like, what's he gonna say? I hate that his face is clipping through that steel. Did you see that? It's like the steel was cutting <laughs> into it. <laughs> that was a really weird zoom in, and it just, <laughs> his eyes just like dart around. <laughs> Wait, don't move this fucking screen. Okay, Tomar, you're gonna pick this, okay? Okay. Um, for the red, green screen at the red, Tomar, what's gonna be put there? But it's all these different hues of just red. Just fucking say it! Uh, pizza getting made. Okay, uh, Lyle, you pick the black. Uh, I, I'm- I'm gonna, uh, be Arthur. And I'm gonna pick the white. Uh... Tiled gif of Linkara running at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great screen. <laughs>